Hi, I'm Paris and the Suaoki company sent me their very latest laser measure to try out. Looks like an interesting product, supposedly very accurate and very convenient. They say this is going to replace my 30 year old tape measure. Now I'm not saying this technology is old, but it measures inches, feet and cubits. Epic review I may be stuck in the 20th century still using a mechanical tape measure, but a couple features of this laser meter look really interesting to me. One is the fact that this can measure in one go up to 200 feet away. My 50 foot tape measure, I've got to do 50 feet and put a rock down, another 50 feet, put a rock down, and then realize I haven't been walking in a straight line. The other thing this does is math. After you've taken the measurements, it can figure out the area for you. It can even do trigonometry. And if you measure the distance to the bottom of a tree or a building, measure the distance to the top, it will tell you the height of that object. For people in real estate, construction, remodeling, I imagine with this you can do in 10 minutes what it used to take two people an hour to do. It goes for $43 and I have a link to it down below this video. Here's what comes in the box. There's the device itself smaller than I thought it was going to be. There's a carrying case with a loop so you can attach it to your belt, a loop handle. They give you the two AA batteries that it requires, as well as a screwdriver to open up the battery case and the instruction book. It's nice that they give you the batteries and the screwdriver, everything you need to start using it. I've looked through the instruction manual, fairly simple. There aren't a lot of buttons, so you have to remember which ones to press. Now, right now I've got the laser because it does use a laser for the measurement. I see it up on the ceiling. I'll put it behind me here. You see it on the wall there? Okay, how far is it from here to the wall? Push the button. 3.940 feet. So pretty close to four feet from here to the wall. Let's check it out. I'm showing four feet and one inch, but it's pretty rough measuring. After you take a measurement, the light stays on for a few seconds and then goes out to save power, but it does leave the last reading on the screen. And um, you can go back, I think, to the last five historical measurements that you made. Something helpful in getting this level when you're taking the measurements are these two bubble levels here. And on the top of the device, the laser is emitted through here and the larger lens is what captures the reflection, I guess, and is able to determine based on time, the distance to an object. It is a laser, so you do not want to point this in your eye or anyone else's eye. I'm gonna use my tape measure to measure exactly six feet from the door. And then from that point, I will try this, see how accurate it is. It's supposed to be accurate to within 1 16th of an inch. I don't even know if this has 1 16th of an inch marks on it. I've got my tape measure lined up with the door. It's actually one inch off, so I have to go to six feet one inch to have it actually show. 72 inches. So here we are. Now with this, I'm going to turn it on. Change the uh, units here to inches. Okay. And I did discover playing around with this a little that it measures from the back of it, not from this point. So that I wondered why everything was off for four inches each time I measured. But the idea is you put this against what it is you wanna measure and that way you'll get an accurate reading right from that. So you can see I've already got the laser light out here. Let's put the back of this at six feet, one inches and Turn it on here. We've got that laser light pointed at the door and let's measure. 71 and 15 16 inches, which is pretty darn close to six feet, 72 inches. Next up, I wanna try some math. Now I've measured this door and from the very bottom of the door to the top is six feet, nine inches, which is, uh, well actually it's just under that. So it's uh, just under 81 inches. So we've got this set for inches. Now to get into the mode where it can do that kind of trigonometry, I hit this, it said three times. One, two, three. Oh, I see, we've got a triangle there. Okay, and then I turn it on. And the first laser point I shoot at the bottom, the second measurement we do at the top, and then we should find out that this door is six feet, nine inches tall. Okay, 
So here are the measurements. To the bottom of the door, it was 85 and 15 16 inches. The measurement to the top of the door from this exact same point is 118 inches. So using trigonometry, it figured out that the height of the door is 80 and 13 16 inches, which is exactly what I measured, just under 81 inches tall. This will be used outdoors as well, I imagine. So let's see how bright the laser is for using it outdoors. Let me turn it on to get a measurement here. And can you see it there on the garage door? Push to measure. It says 77 inches. And let's see on the concrete. A little bit harder to see. It's able to measure just fine though. 81 and 9 16 inches. How about on a reflective surface like the car? 66 inches. I wonder if it can um, do the window. If it would tell me the window. Let's see if it'll work on glass. No, gave me an error. Doesn't like working on glass. Trying to record an even sunnier garage door next door, I come, keep coming up with error 204. I think there's too much sunlight shining on it so it can't get a reading back from the laser, so. Okay, if I wanna get a giant welcome mat to fill this space in front of the door and I need to know how many um, square inches it would be, I can set this to, yeah, it's that one. Okay, and so now I take two measurements. I take one across and one lengthwise, and it will tell me the area. So I've got it against the wall here. The dot is over there with some leftover fluorescent paint from our Halloween decorations. Push the button. My first measurement it is it is 60 inches that way, and then this way. Let me get the dot on the wall. Push the button. Okay, so it's giving me a measurement. The area of this space is 30.311 square feet. Thank you to Sue Aoki for sending me this laser measure to try out. Uh, amazingly accurate, did everything I asked. Just had a little trouble with the sunny garage door at quite a distance, but the fact that it has the accuracy of the laser measuring and it has basically a scientific calculator built into it to do all the mathematical calculations, I, I guess I will be using this in the future and maybe retire this guy. Goes for just under $45 and there's a link to it right below this video. I think that's a pretty good price considering the time and labor saving and the fact that you don't need someone else to help you out with the tape measure. You can pretty much do it all by yourself with this guy. Eventually I'll get tired of playing with this and I will do another video. You can keep checking back for those or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy right now.